Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 24th of October and the time has just gone 9.40 British Summer Time. This week's Chart of the Week is Palladium. Uh, taking, starting off with the a longer term view on the weekly chart, we can see that Palladium has had a, had a major rally between January 2016 and January 2018. Uh, major rally uh, in, in, the, in the metal. Then I had a fairly sizable pullback of 28%, uh, reasonable size pullback of 28% between uh, January 2018 and August 2018. But since then, uh, it has resumed uh, it is, uh, its upward trend. And in fact, yesterday the metal went down to hit an all time high. So it gives an indication of what bullish sentiment is. If we take a look at the MACD history and the MACD indicator, uh, we can see that there's a fairly steady rise in positive momentum as the market's been pushing higher recently. So the upward move. We're seeing in the middle in recent weeks has been confirmed uh, by the steady increase in positive momentum. So at the, at the time being, uh, the, the momentum is with the, with the buyers. Now, there are several reasons why platinum has been in demand uh, in recent months and years. One of the main reasons is that uh, palladium, rather, is, uh, is used as is, palladium is used in the catalytic converters, uh, which are which, which are used in engines to actually reduce emissions from vehicles. So palladium has been very much in demand in recent years, seeing as seeing as it's been a big uh, focus to actually uh, um, head towards more of a, a green environment. Uh, adding to that, uh, we've had some recent um, supply shortages um, with, uh, with palladium. Also, uh, there are fears about future supply levels uh, because Russia is a major supplier of palladium and U.S.-Russian relations aren't, aren't so good at the moment. Uh, the United States have declared uh, that their intention to withdraw from the uh, U.S.-Russian nuclear, nu nuclear treaty. This has left um, tensions between Washington, D.C. and Moscow, and traders are fearful uh, we, we, we could have some supply issues out of Russia for palladium in the near term. Um, adding to that, uh, we've also had some recently out of Beijing, we've also had some tax, tax, tax changes in order to kind of stimulate the economy and that has benefited the kind of wider metals market. Uh, and that has all culminated um, in the speculative long positions on palladium futures hitting its highest level uh, in three months, highest level since June this year. So there's clearly a lot of uh, positive speculation uh, going on in relation to the price of palladium. Uh, this, is, this is the chart on a daily basis. Uh, once again, as you can see, it's been a solid upward trend uh, since August. We can see here that, that, actually, that there's been a slight increase, a swing to positive momentum uh, on the market indicator, and actually positive momentum is actually increasing. So the upward move is being confirmed by the increase in positive momentum. If you do continue to push on higher from here, uh, if you do kind of take out the recent all-time high, uh, and continue to push on higher. We could be looking at targeting the uh, 1150 area, or, or the next the next big level beyond that will be the psychologically important 1200. Uh, any moves to the downside in Palladium may find the sport coming to play in around the kind of 1100 mark, or even da possibly down to um, the the, um, the highs of, of early August, of early October rather, in the kind of 1094, 1090 region. Uh, perhaps the sport even could be found in around this area here at 1063. Um, and, and given that it's, it's been such a, a steep rally recently, we may even see a fairly deeper uh, correction potentially. So if, if the market were to drift on lower, we could find support coming into play in uh, this area here at 10.29 or perhaps even as low as the 50 moving average at 10.12. I'd only start to get worried if you actually drop below this line here, this red line here, the eternity moving average, which comes into play at 9.85. Notice how it actually did manage to act as a resistance not too long ago um, in, in, in the middle of September. And if, it, if, the, if the metric has acted as resistance in the past, it makes it more likely that it could act as a, a support in the near term. Um, should that be the case, uh, we could, if we, should, should we actually drift lower below the, um, the 20 moving average, that will be a fairly bearish indicator and it could point to further losses. Uh, if you have any comments to make on this video, uh, please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. That's it for me this week. Thank you very much.